Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Tamer and welcome back to another episode of iTalk Tech. So you're out there and you're looking for a high quality budget smartphone that instead of screaming cheap, retains a premium look and feel. Well, I may just have the phone for you. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the Huawei GX8. Now make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribing to this channel. But without further ado, let's get started. For only $300, the GX8 packs a stunning and modern design that you cannot beat at this price. The aluminum back in the phone very closely resembles that of a Nexus 6P, being that Huawei also made the Nexus 6P, but it's in a much smaller body. Now I'm also really digging the color of the black, which Huawei is calling Space Gray, which very much resembles the Space Gray that you would find on an iPhone. The phone is a little squared off on the sides, making it not the best feeling when holding in the hand, but it does provide a nice grip in the hand, ensuring that you don't drop it. On the back, you'll find a big camera as well as a nicely positioned fingerprint sensor. Yes, that is a fingerprint sensor on a $300 phone. Looking toward the front, we can find a big 5.5 inch display. The display's resolution is a nice 1920 by 1080 display, but I could do with less bezels as they do at times get a little distracting. Now, while the display is no AMOLED display, the colors seem to be pretty nice and the display is overall very sharp. For a $300 phone, I'm pleasantly shocked at how great the specs on this phone are. Now let's move on to my experience with the performance of this device. This is where I can instantly spot the difference between a high-end smartphone and a budget smartphone. This is in no way to say that this is a bad phone, it was actually quite surprisingly great to use, but with a selling price of only 300 bucks, there had to be setbacks made in order to fit it in a beautiful body. So the Huawei GX8 comes packed with a Snapdragon 615 processor as well as 2GB of RAM. Now, while we haven't heard of phones with Snapdragon 615 processors in a while, they are still beefy and they are still fast chips. The phone zips through everyday applications like Twitter, Instagram, and watching Netflix. The phone does have its occasional hiccups though, which do become frustrating at times, but that's a sacrifice you have to pay for such an inexpensive device. The phone usually doesn't hiccup, but you will eventually notice it starting to lag on you. I'm going to be brutally honest, but the UI that Huawei has put on top of Android on the GX8 is pretty shitty. Sorry Huawei, but I mean it's a pretty bad UI that just makes me want to cringe every time I use it. But that is not an issue as you can easily just slap on some good old Nova Launcher or the Google Now Launcher and the problem is fixed. So moderately graphic games such as Temple Run 2 ran pretty smoothly but it did start to struggle when playing intensive games like Dead Trigger 2, but it was still playable. Now the rear camera on the GX8 is a 13 megapixel shooter that comes equipped with OIS, that's a big deal. So optical image stabilization is a big deal since there's a ton of high-end phones that don't have that. It will basically give you really fluid and really smooth shots even when you're holding it in your hand because the sensor will move and will act as a gyroscope allowing you for to move around without having the camera become very wobbly. So a big thumbs up for Huawei for putting OIS into such a low price tag. Now the camera is pretty decent when under good lighting as the colors seem to be nice and balanced but when under low light the camera just struggles to maintain good quality and will usually fill the image with a lot of noise. Video quality is decent being able to record up to 1080p but the colors do tend to become dull. Now the fingerprint sensor on the Huawei GX8 is fantastic, it is very quick to unlock the device and the placement of the sensor is also perfectly positioned to where your finger will naturally rest. I've even at times seen the GX8 unlock my phone through the fingerprint faster than a Galaxy S7 Edge, which is quite surprising as the price difference is almost 300 to 400 bucks. The fingerprint also has some cool features like being able to swipe down the sensor in order to access the notification panel, as well as holding onto the sensor to take a quick picture. So the GX8 isn't competing on the level of a Galaxy S7 or an iPhone 6S, but it does compete quite nicely with other budget smartphones. I was thoroughly impressed at how good this phone performed, especially compared to my Galaxy S7 Edge. Using this phone made me consider whether the Galaxy S7 is actually worth double or even at times more than double the amount of money as the GX8. While it may have its setbacks, this stunning GX8 is really worth a go, especially for only 300 bucks. So thank you all for watching, make sure to drop a like on this video as well as subscribing to this channel, but I'll catch you all in the next one, peace.